Hello, welcome back to Alpo Simulation. Today we're gonna talk everything about ACARS and ACARS printer. So I have here a purchase on ACARS printers and this is the printer that is situated in the pedestal of the 737 where you can uh, from the FMC uh, you can uh, print uh, all data in terms of meta uh, and any, any other type of data uh, that comes through and you can there is a button you push print and you can print here so I purchased this very difficult to find them there was a website where you could find them but now they don't have anymore so I purchased this from uh, uh, Alibaba or Aliexpress from China it took a while to arrive a little bit pricey to be honest but uh, it's a simple printer uh, it has a, a connection for the for the data USB or serial but of course I will use the USB because it's easier and then has a, a 5 or 12 volts um, connector uh, for the power I already tested uh, you can see I printed something uh, uh, just a nice message uh, so I tested and it works fine now very easy to set it up then I purchased uh, this one from a guy that does this beautiful um, uh, how do you call that um, face plate on eBay and a purchase so this is the cover so the way it works is you will put the printer like that and then you put this on top just like that so this is how the full printer will looks like and then of course this one will go through and you can rip it apart uh, so it should be fairly easy right you you connect this one with the with the holes to the peristal peristal uh, you give the power the USB and then you put this one top it should be very straightforward however nothing when it comes to simulator is straightforward and let me tell you why this is the pedestal I it's from Sysmo solution and I remove one of the face plates here uh, just to show you what's inside uh, so this one is basically it's empty all the way through so you have plenty of space to do whatever you want inside here but the way the Sysmo does is that they have uh, this uh, main uh, electronic card which cover almost all the surface of the pedestal and then I uh, uh, just want to make sure that you are seeing yes uh, so and uh, and why the card is actually here and not down below is because you have the IC connector where you connect this directly so it's a very good system I do like it and uh, you can you can swap you can remove this put it back just connect and it give power and everything transmission of data so it works very well however uh, just so you know the electric board go from here the main PCBA all the way here so it covered the entire only this section is empty and of course you have all this part under is empty so what is the problem the problem is there are a couple of problems first one usually the printer is here but as you can see, if I put this one, it doesn't go because it touching the bottom. So I try to, for example, if I remove this, uh, this one uh, I can remove and then this one fits. But then where do you put this one? The flight deck door and stabilization trimmer. Now I remove this plate and I try to put that one there but again the electric board here is touching the main I try to uh, change here basically what I was trying to do I played Tetris how can I uh, move around the stuff not too much uh, in a way that I can have this space and, uh, and the result was nothing so it was a point where I said to myself maybe I cannot put a printer the way it is done I cannot put a printer the other problem I had is as you can see this one, I thought that they come standard, but they don't. Uh, so it's quite big. It takes the entire section. Um, obviously, I only have this space here, and this is too big. Now, 
another place which would be nice would be over here but over here also it goes it's, it's too it's too big and also here remember there is a, if I remove this there is the the card so this one will not fit very very huge problem however I think I found uh, after spending a couple hours thinking about it I think I found a very good solution is unorthodox but let me tell you my solution maybe you can give me a good idea my solution is this first of all let me put the things I'm gonna when I put this one here I'm gonna cut exactly exactly here and here so this one will fit nice and flush so basically I'm gonna take I'm gonna cut all this out and all this out so you're gonna have this when you put that one right there it does fit perfectly nice I have the two screw there and then I will add the two screw there when you put this one actually on top it does also fit perfectly so this one doesn't need to to change also because this one is not flush but it's it's mounted on top so it doesn't give any problem now because of that I cannot put my printer this way uh, I cannot put it like that my solution is to tilt it and either this way or the way we'll see and put it basically like like inside like that tilt and now if I do that it does fit and uh, I will have the paper sticking out so like that I will put a support under so this one can rest on top so it doesn't fall through and so what you have in the end is basically this one like this and then we have uh, uh, if, I, if I show you then this one this one like that and then this one on top so when I cut and I cover the printer what you're gonna see is basically the printer and the paper now the paper I can also make a cut through here 80 millimeters length because that's what the size of the paper maybe 85 and so the paper will stick through that and come out and I will also put something where I can rip the paper nice and tidy because you wanna rip apart the paper and so on Hope, hopefully you like the sound effect so that's my idea now it's not elegant it's an orthodox it's not how it should be the printer really but two options either you do that or there is no printer and because I do did pay the money you know I wait long okay that's thank God it didn't break I wait so long for receiving uh, this from eBay and I also wait a lot of time to receive this from uh, uh, from Alibaba or Aliexpress I don't remember which one was from China I don't want to give up and I also want the printer so that's my idea uh, so let's get to work what I need to do first I'm gonna cut this exactly the size of this panel then I'm gonna put uh, some some brackets under so the printer can rest in a way that this one is nice and flash I will then need to open this why because I have to have the feeder button extended in a way that it can go I can make a little hole and I can have the feeder button somewhere so I can push and uh, or maybe connect it to one of these well actually these are dummy but maybe I can connect something very close here maybe I can change it with a real button so I can uh, you know push and give me the paper through uh, and then I obviously uh, I need the uh, 12 volts I'm gonna use the 12 volts uh, power somewhere from the main board I'm gonna take my 12 volts and for the USB power I'm gonna have the USB extension cord the uh, USB extension that goes all the way to the main uh, um, the main computer but it's not connected to the computer it's connected through a USB uh, multi plug that I have uh, within the simulator so the computer there is only one cable going through that's my idea it should have been a uh, five minutes job is turning into a half a day uh, work uh, 
There you go. Welcome to the beautiful life of building fly deck. Let's keep going. Okay, so what I've done so far, I cut uh, and then I paint again uh, this piece. So now it goes quite nice, fits nice. Uh, not a perfect cut, I don't have a, a router or anything that can make perfect cut, but I don't really care because this is gonna be covered. The important was this, this one has been also cut here and I make, I paint again. So this one came quite nice. Now the reason why I cut this is because uh, the, it, was, it was quite too big and it was covering the step trim and flat the door flag deck door um, so it was basically that I didn't like it so now uh, it's gonna be like this pretty much so the paper will come from here and I'm gonna have something uh, something here which will allow a nice cut to the paper so that when the paper come out I can just uh, tss, uh, and do that on top of that so this is gonna look now I removed the, the top one here for a second because I was doing some some painting so I remove, I will put it back. Um, the other things I need to do is, if you remember, I need to extend the button for uh, for the feeder. So um, I, I got this uh, simple switch here, it's on off. So you need to keep holding and if you release it's off. So it's on only when you keep holding. So this one will be used for the, for the paper feed. And I'm gonna make a hole somewhere, maybe replace one of these or maybe a hole somewhere where this one will just just show something like that just very black very simple so you can push and the paper will fit so what's left now is this is done uh, I need to extend from the printer uh, the switch to use this one it will f go you go through this, then this one with the printer installed here and attached with some uh, with something to hold in place. I will put the this one connected here. For the power, it's very easy. I can take the 12 volts inside. I can take the USB and extend it to through the external area of the pedestal they go all the way to the top of the simulator. So that that's done. Now it's very easy to do it. So overall, this is how it's gonna look like. I'm gonna make it a little bit more shiny here, and obviously gonna put back the the handle. The only things you're gonna see is the switch somewhere where you can push, and the paper will come up from here. So um, not the best, but it will do. It was either this way or no printer at all. Let's get to work. Okay, so let's assemble this together. Doesn't look pretty, but I promise you it's gonna look pretty in the end. I also reprint, I mean, uh, repaint this, remove the decals, reprint, I mean, uh, repaint, and then put the decals back. So let's just assemble everything. This one will be connected this way. I'm gonna use some clamps or uh, yeah, I think that's I'm gonna put some clamps here and here to connect and then this will be the final the final look. Uh, so we can have uh, the paper feeder. So let me get some clamps and then we can carry on with this.
all right so everything is done uh, just to show you what I what I've done so this is the the final uh, uh, the final uh, the final piece I, I cut it here I paint everything looks nice and the, the printer is also been installed it's quite uh, quite stable doesn't go anywhere I extended the the feeder paper with a push button that goes basically here uh, so this one when it goes here you push this and you feed the paper so this is a normal switch where you you need to keep holding for the paper feed to go and then when you release it stops um, I already select the power and everything so I'm gonna just install it. oh another thing I did is I didn't want the paper to to be cut from here because then uh, if this is if this is higher I will lose the paper if it cuts from directly here I want the paper to cut directly from here and the reason why is because when the paper goes here and I cut it straight I still have the paper and then I push the button I feed it and it's ready for the next printing so I don't lose the paper to go inside uh, so what I did is hard to see but I took a very I have a I had a very old uh, um, how do you call it? the hex saw and this is uh, the part of the metal part of the saw the tooth it's hard to uh, I don't know if you can see but there is uh, over here a metal you can actually feel it and it's gonna cut the paper very nice so let's install so the way it works I already connect uh, the power so this one goes uh, so it's this way so this one goes this way okay and then we have the the cable which goes this way okay so now what I need to do is to Put this cable down and install it. And to make sure they don't touch any cable whatsoever from anywhere. Okay, so let me put the screw. the digital screw and this is done completed so what we need to do the next step is to reconnect the pedestal to the simulator and connect to ProSim and um, uh, install the printer to Windows 11 and and test the the printing the connection with the CDU let's go Okay, so we are uh, at the computer and let's install the, the printer. So the first thing you want to do is to go to um, add printer or scanner. And as you can see I already installed, but in order to install the, the printer well, all you need to do is to add device. Now the printer is connected via USB uh, through the hub, uh, so just add device. He will find some other printer, but then at one point, uh, if you don't see it, just say the add manually. Okay, and then you have this option, and then you can say um, add a local printer or network printer with manual setting. So you click this, do next. Now I select, because my is, uh, is a USB, I select the USB 001 unknown printer. Okay, so you select that and do next. And all you need to do here is, is to install the printer as generic. Now, don't try to find the bright tech driver where it doesn't work. Just do generic and then generic text only. And of course, when you go next, it's gonna ask you to do to do that uh, unless you have a driver, but don't have. So you go next. Uh, and uh, and then you give yourself a name so i call it bright tech uh, a thermal printer just to to identify that because i have other printers as well now i'm not gonna press next because he will install another one so i'll just uh, i'll just do cancel but you just carry on and install the printer 
when you finish everything you will have the printer here you can even go and do a, a test uh, test page but you don't need to um, anyway so it's installed so this is done all you need to do now is to open your prosim um, okay Okay, so you go into your prosim. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Ah, uh, it's the same. Okay, you go to your prosim, uh, and what you wanna do? Go in config, configuration, and then you go to data link, and you go to printer. You select enable. You choose the printer that you want to to use. Of course, in this case, will be the Brighton printer which joins install. I did not change anything here uh, because it works fine. Uh, you can select a different style if you want, but I mean, if you have time, you can play with the, with this option. But I suggest you to try and see if it prints like this normally. If you don't like it, then you can select different style, uh, the marginal, so you can you can do it. But all you need to do is do that and do OK. So let's now test, uh, let's connect the CDU, let's test some weather uh, station and see if we print correctly. All right, so let's test the uh, CDU with the, with the print function. So we have the Ecker printers there, so let's give it a try. So first of all, you're gonna show, I wanna show you something, so if we go to the uh, link so if you're gonna for example let's let's select the the 80s um i don't know layer for lirf which is fiumicino just to try and then uh you know we okay send so just gonna show you then now uh you're gonna see okay so we have uh, that is okay no it is available at the moment but uh, what I wanted to show you is now you have the print function um, and therefore uh, now it's possible to print everything that you need and of course I'm not gonna print this because it's just gonna show you not it's available let's see if, if I can find something uh, more um, uh, let's have a look somewhere there maybe so if we go to the this when we do request maybe weather will be more lucky so let's try bring this see my own time okay and let's send the request okay we should have some weather okay so we got some weather there so now if we do print you can see I don't know if you heard but there was a printing uh, function so what I'm gonna do is because of my the way my things is is uh, uh, done I need to sorry I need to hold the camera and uh, so if I see if we print it should have been printed it's okay it's okay so as you can see it printed correctly now I didn't uh, cut correctly but I'm gonna fix that but I just wanted to show you for the sake of the card printers that this is now correct print correctly so there is no problem there alright guys alright guys I just print another one uh, just because this one uh, was a little bit just in case just wanna show you how it prints correctly so that's as you can see we have uh, Akars Begin and we have the LIBR uh, uh, we have a uh, Kavok, we have the queue information and all the stuff that you need to know. We also have the date, 25 July, 12, 25 Zulu. Okay? And of course, that's what you need to have. So, Akas Printer works fine now. Until the next project. Ciao.